All right, YouTube. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to use your multimeter to check your battery voltage to know whether or not your battery need to be replaced in your car and whether it, your battery is in good standing. So first, what you're gonna do, you take your multimeter, switch to V. What you're gonna do is once you have it on V, is you're gonna put your red, your positive prong, on the positive obviously, and then on the negative. Give me a minute, it's kind of tricky doing it with one hand. Give me a minute. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this up right here. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna hit, I have a function on here that had hold. So once I set it up, the read volt voltage, I'm gonna hit hold. being patient. So if you notice, I already went ahead and read the voltage. It said a voltage on the battery is 12.79, which is great. A good battery standing should be above 12.6 when the car is not running. When the car is running, it should be between 3.7, I mean higher than 13.7, my bad. For example, let me show you. Lucky for me, I got remote start, so I don't have to go inside my car. I just start it from right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my car from right here. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. All right. Now give me a moment. Let me set it up. As you see, the battery is reading 14.05 while turning. We're going to turn off the car. We're going to start. You got to love it. All right. So done. Done here. So now we're about to transfer over. This is what to a car battery and the other car we use in this tutorial that I know need to be replaced. So let me go ahead and close this lid real quick, guys. So oh yeah, make sure after you're done, you cover everything back up. Oh, if you care about the remote start I have on my Corolla, my 2014 Corolla, check out my videos. I have videos that review and talk about the remote start I used. So let's go to the other card. All right, this is the O3 Echo. I know for sure the battery needs to be replaced in here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and reset it and show you what a bad battery looks like. I'm gonna remove the leads. Let me place the phone down and then read it. All right, give me a moment, guys. Put this in a better reach. Okay, so took the battery reading. Look at it, 10.81 voltage, which is bad battery. So this is a bad battery, guys. Now what? I already knew this because we had to jump the car like 10. Just for the past couple of weeks, we've just been having to jump it, so we jumped it like at least 10 times. So we're about to replace the battery. But that's a prime example of a bad battery working. We I mean, you know bad voltage on a battery. Um, it should be above 12.6 like you've seen on my Corolla. So let me try starting it up and see will it even start. I have remote start on this one too. Let me see here. I have his keys. The battery been dying so I haven't been wanting to start. Let's go ahead and start it and see. Let's see if it's going to start. It might not catch. See look at that. It didn't want to catch. Damn battery need to be jumped already. Guess I'm not gonna even be able to show y'all guys. Battery's damn dead. Let me try starting it regularly. Let's see, will it start from the inside? If 
not, I'm just gonna end the video like that. So let's see, is it even gonna start, guys? Nope. Oh, red, oh shoot, it started. I'm surprised. So, if we don't wanna start with the remote start, but it started right now. So let me go outside and read the battery voltage to you guys where it's running. It should be reading higher being that the alternator is in good running condition. So give me a minute. Let me set everything up guys. Turn up the voltage and take a battery reading. One moment guys. Which is great, look. 13.97. Alright guys, see that? 13.97. It's reading. So let me turn the car off now. And then talk to you guys. Let me go inside to any inside the Mosco and talk to you guys about what you just seen. Alright guys. So as I was saying, it's red 13.97 which means that the alternator is not the cause why the, you know, obviously the battery is dead, it's the battery itself. Um, if you have a car and you're not sure whether or not it's the battery or not, do go ahead and do this test with your multimeter and read your battery. If your battery is not showing above 12.6 volts, you need to replace your battery, guys. All right, so I just proved here, dead battery. Luckily, the car was able to start. It didn't start with the remote start, but it did start when I came in and cranked it a little bit longer, you know what I mean? But um, you've seen right off the bat, after the car started running, the alternator, you know, was charging the battery at 13 point, well, what did it say? Yeah, 13.97, which is around 14 volts. Um, which is great, I mean, you know, you have to drive around once the car is on, but once the car is off and it's sit, it's gonna drop back down to the low 10 voltage that you've seen. Well guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the um, comments section and I'll do another video on different things you need to check with your car. Um, I just got this in the mail from um, Amazon. Really good multimeter. So um, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and ask, feel free.